Hello and welcome to St Anne's Online. We're back in the Mile End studio today, the last Sunday in May. It's good to see you. Um, we have our obligatory cup of coffee. I've changed out of my pyjamas for the sake of doing this, and I hope you've all done the same. As we look around and we see the world around us, it's beginning to unlock. Boris Johnson has allowed us new freedoms, which we didn't have previously. However, that's only freedoms in this world. Freedoms from the problem of coronavirus. The Bible tells us that we have much, much bigger problems than coronavirus. And the biggest problem is sin. The Bible tells us that Christ, Jesus Christ, is the only answer to that. And only Christ can unlock us from the problems which sin gives us. As I said, it's good to see you. I hope you were able to join us at the quiz night a couple of nights ago. Um, it was a fine evening. And uh, the fact that we're holding quiz night says that things are returning very, very slowly to something a bit more like normal. Today, today is a day when we're going to start new things. Well, this week is a new week for new things. We're going to start hearing from a new book in the Bible. Richard is going to come and tell us about 2 Timothy in a little while. And home groups. We're starting a new book in home groups. We're starting to do 1 Corinthians. We've done quite a lot both in sermons and on Bible study groups in the Old Testament. And this week we're switching to two New Testament letters, two epistles. We hope you're able to join us in our home groups. If you're not a regular member of St Anne's, or if you are a regular member of St Anne's and not part of a home group, please do join us. We meet on different nights during the week. We meet by Zoom. If you're interested in joining a group, please do send us an email. There's an email address on screen now. Send us an email. Tell us who you are, if you're not already part of St Anne's, and see if you can be joined up with a home group, because it would be good to see you at one of those. There's not much to say in the way of notices today. We've covered most of them. For now, we're going to say the confession together. The Bible, which I referred to earlier, tells us clearly that sin is our big problem, and no one is immune from that problem of sin. If it was the coronavirus, it would be like saying that everyone is infected. No, not everyone is infected, but everyone has the problem with sin. The Bible is very, very clear on that point. But the Bible gives us a way to be clear of that problem of sin. And we're going to confess our sins together now. If you're a Christian, if you believe that you have that problem with sin, but you're looking to Jesus for the answer, then please do join with me in the words of confession now. It goes as follows. Lord God, we have sinned against you. We have done evil in your sight. We are sorry and repent. Have mercy on us according to your love. Wash away our wrongdoing and cleanse us from our sin. Renew a right spirit within us and restore us to the joy of your salvation through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We hope you are able to join us for the rest of the service this morning, which will follow on straight through. No need to do anything. We'll have a couple of songs. We'll have a reading. That's going to be a reading from 2 Timothy. Richard, our rector, is going to come and explain what the Bible passage says. We'll have some prayers and you'll see me again at the end. So please stick with us as we go through. First song. 